Oh, hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, there's one. <laughs> so, we're here for a episode of Leap. <laughs> I'm very happy to say I have Jason Warwick joining me today on the show. So it's exciting. Let's take a leap. <laughs> We're going to take a leap today. <laughs> a leap of, leap of faith. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the thoughts I had in mind for today was something called the observer effect in, in quantum physics. And there's a clip actually I want to show shortly, but before going into that, um, I felt like, and I just sort of realizing or something that this show today is um, in some way an answer to a prayer. Um, because I was just telling Jason a few minutes ago how um, there's just, there's been this upset that I've had um, related to my 12 year old son and that, well, is kind of using it as, a, as an example where I'm, I've been feeling a bit stuck and feeling like I want to see beyond this, I want to see this differently. Um, just not to go into it too much, but I had a call a few days ago with, with him and I just seemed to interpret something about, about him on the call. I, his facial expression looked a certain way and his tone of voice sounded a certain way and I decided, oh, I think he's depressed. And yeah, and so there's something about just really having a, a prayer to, to be really wrong about what I am perceiving, that somehow what we're going to talk about today is going to help answer that. Uh, and I don't know how, <laughs> not at all actually, but I feel like maybe the start, the start place might be just to, well, let's see here. Well, before I, before I play the clip, I think the start point is just a, a quote, course quote that came into mind last night, which was, I think, workbook six, which says, I'm never upset for the reason I think. And that somehow that, that quote, and I know there's lots of others in the course that kind of say, say the same thing, but just wanting my prayer, I feel, is just to have a lived experience um, that what I'm seeing is not, is not true and that I'm not upset for the reason I think and I want to see beyond this. So, so yeah, maybe we'll just start with playing this clip, which is from uh, what's it from? It's from Captain Quantum. So some of you maybe have seen this before. It's it's actually from uh, from the movie What the Bleep that came out many many moons ago, and it uh, it just goes into in a in a really beautiful way what the observer effect is. So it's about five minutes. So I just invite you to sink in and just you know let this Holy Spirit you know show you show you what what's really going on, as I'm going to do as well. So, I think, Nicholas, if you want to roll them. <laughs> so how does that answer your question about, what's your son's name? Ronan. Ronan. To me, I love this clip so much. We actually made a quantum module in uh, in Moodle, Mystical Mind Training Program. But the key of this whole experiment to me was basically when you know you could see all the particles seemingly acting like waves as infinite possibilities. It's almost like everything that we see, perceive, and hear. It's like it's all just this wave of potential. And then what happens when they put this observer in there, the little eye, then the only way that it can actually see a particular thing is for the particle to act like a, partic um, a particular thing, particle, particular. <laughs> and so they're 
they're like together. They're the same thing. You cannot separate the two. So the very fact that you know you you see or that your son is depressed is not separate from you. It's not a real thing apart from what it is you desire. Which is why Laverne's um, instrument for peace or the Spiri session was so valuable because you can't change anything on the form. You're only going to see what it is what it is you want to see based on your beliefs. And well, then people would say, well, why, why would you want to see your son's depressed? Well, I would say that's not on a conscious level, but when you want to hide from God, what's a good way to hide from God, but to make up a child that's depressed that you have to then be a mother to try to fix that for eternity and lifetime after lifetime until you get it right. It's a good way to hide from God. And for those of us that know being in community, you know, the mother concept is, you know, all the other ones, it's like, okay, we do this one, we do that, we do that one, but okay, the mother concept, you know, it takes a special breed to go after that. And what I mean by that is, you know, really nobody's going to talk to you even about that experience, except those who have gone through it because it's such a taboo, a taboo subject. So to me, that clip, it not only answers that, it answers absolutely everything. Everything is an infinite possibility. You, you can't even wake up in the morning without the instant your eyes open, like projecting what it is you want to see, but based on your belief system. So our whole job every day, every hour, every second, the course says even a minute or a second or even less, you're choosing what it is you want to see. And that's why you got to get back to this desire. Do I want to see a world I made or do I want to see, see the world through, through God's eyes or through the Holy Spirit's eyes? And if you wake up depressed or you have emotions and, you're seeing it through the world the way you want to see it. And that's what we say. We have to give it over, give it over. The funny thing is, because we were talking this morning at at breakfast and you had this feelings like I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong because I'm still seeing my son is depressed. And to me, it's like, Oh my God, I was so grateful you were sharing that and letting this up and, and not hiding. it. And we said, just say it a thousand times more because it's not really that, but you need to give this up and not, you're not failing. You're like succeeding because this is coming up into awareness and it's only the ego that wants to judge it as there. I went really far here for this clip, but yeah, this is, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Does everybody really, to everyone on the watching, do you, did you get that clip? Did you really feel the potential of that? Basically, they were saying at the subatomic level, they're proving what the Course is saying, that nothing exists independent of an observer. It's all just potential. It's the quantum field, and the quantum field as we use it is, is an experience. When you're in the experience of being done through, of remembering who you are, you see everything as just potentials playing out and there's no interpretation or judging them as good or bad. It's when you become a separate person with eyes and ears and look for a certain thing that you pull out of that field of potential, a very specific outcome because you want to see it. And the instant you let the desire go, it drops. That's the whole journey. The whole journey is letting go of that very specific want to be seen. It's like over and over again, letting that, letting that go. You can wake up with quantum. That's why you have a whole show <laughs> devoted to it. <laughs> yeah, well, that was actually one of my questions I had was around can, can quantum, like clips like this, be used in a practical way? Like, you know, like yeah. in a way that pe- people can actually yeah. you know, turn to them when they're, when they're having healing and like show me that, yeah. that I'm wrong actually oh, yeah. about everything I'm seeing or what I think is going on or, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's, I feel like that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of doing yeah. it. So it's like, <laughs> there we go. It's, yeah, and I can feel something like it's like there's something like, yeah, like the spirit is is behind all of it in a way. It's yeah. like kind of like coming in, oh, by the way, or yeah. I'm going to use science to try and, you know, show you something that just how wrong you are yeah, <laughs> kind exactly, of thing. So. Exactly. 
I think it can be a pathway. I mean, for me, it was I didn't found the course, and I was reading Fritak Caprica's book or whatever, the Tao of Physics, the Tao of Physics, and the whole book was for that one point at the end where he said, when they used that uh, CERN particle accelerator in is it Switzerland or whatever, yeah, Higgs boson, Higgs, Higgs, Higgs boson, boson, and they started trying to find out what these you know, particles would break up into, depending on the measuring instrument they used, mm -hmm. was what subatomic particle they would see. And it was like, it blew my mind. So you mean the particle only arrived depending on the instrument that you used. Mm -hmm. It just like, boom. Mm -hmm. That's a, that was a mystical experience for me. And every time we come back to that experience, like I watched the whole What the Bleep one time with Spirit, and I said, what is the point of this whole What the Bleep? And I just kept hearing over and over, you cannot separate the observed from the observer. You cannot separate. That's the, and if you use all these videos, there's ones on superpositioning, there's ones on entanglement. There's, they're all saying the same thing, that you, everything is one. And you can't mm -hmm. separate the observer from the observer. So watch these videos mm. over and over again to just keep reminding yourself. Mm. Mm. We have a whole module in a mystical mind training program called Quantum Awakening. Yeah, I guess many of you might not have done it, but if you want to just do that every day, you can go in and watch these clips and get reminders. Mm -hmm. and there's even a quiz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, just uh, going back to the, the, just the clip we just saw too, it, what really kind of, resonates for me right now is just how it seems to be saying that that my son doesn't even really exist <laughs> like it's just purely it's like it's like in my head <laughs> like you know like that something about it's only when I look it's like otherwise like right now for example I'm not looking you know <laughs> it's like it actually doesn't even exist like you know like there's something yeah. that feels really deep about that yeah. to me like that it's only when you look that something seems to appear and then mm -hmm. When you stop looking, it's actually it actually completely falls out of existence, which mm -hmm. you know it's pretty radical stuff. Yep. You know, and I, I feel like that's you know, you know, I can't be reminded of that too much <laughs> in a way because that's like yeah. Do you yeah. see the importance of that? Why, like we talk about guidance. Andy did a show on guidance with Nicholas, and the reason that for importance of guidance because if you say you make a call, for example, mm -hmm. out of guilt to the, the family, out of guilt, it's coming from something's wrong, I've abandoned you, you know, somebody's doing something wrong, you were going to pull out a world to witness to that guilt and it just, it reaffirms it. But when you listen to guidance and you call when you're happy and you want to extend it a miracle, you don't see a son that has unkempt fingernails and it's like this, but you could go around the room, and even in your own life, there's probably so many stories where the son is like, Mom, I'm, I'm so happy you're not here and you're, you're, following, you're following your calling, you know, witnessing to that very, very thing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because the, 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 natural, the natural tendency of the ego is just, to, is just to pull the witnesses that it wants to see. Yeah. Like, like the observer effect, like just, yeah. I just want to, like nothing, nothing comes unbidden to me. I think there's a line from the course that says, you know, I, you know, basically everything that I see is what I, what I want to see. And mm -hmm. so if I'm not following guidance, then it makes sense that I, I'm going to be, you know, seeing, seeing a world that, you know, that I made up basically, I think is true. So... Yeah. yeah, I do want to hear more about what you were saying about the unified field, though. Like somehow. <laughs> well, last, last night I told her that when I was doing the talk with David at the movie gathering, at some point I heard Jesus say, I want to talk more about the quantum field. And I said, yeah, I hope you do too. <laughs> it's like, mm. there's something about that. Because that, I was just in the experience doing that movie and waking up this morning that the quantum field really is is just an experience of who you are 
Mm. Yeah, and to me, it's really just about, it's just another way of saying forgiveness, being so open to being wrong about everything that I think and perceive. And like I was saying, just keep giving it over, giving it over, pulling the eye back mm. from if you could remember that little eye that was looking for the particle. If you could just imagine just closing the eye and mm. saying, show me, show me and being willing. I mean, I've got, I told you this story yesterday, but I, I feel like as we get into being miracle workers and teachers of God, this it just gets more and more expanded because one time I showed up uh, with a friend in New York at, at a, uh, a house for Christmas. And it was actually the guys who, the, son, the three sons of the guy who invented the, they call that thing that washes windows, a squeegee or something like that. And there was these massive houses, like each house was $10 million. And I just showed up and I didn't know who they were. They didn't really know me. And as I walked in the door, I said, okay, Jesus, I'm here only to be truly helpful. I do not know what to say or what to do, who I am. I walked in and then this gentleman greets me. Hi, my name's Rob. What's your name? I'm Jason. He said, what do you do? And here we go. I, was like, I heard quantum physics teacher in my mind. So I said, I'm a quantum physics teacher. <laughs> and, and he got so excited. He's like, oh, that's so amazing. My son is in quantum physics in school. And he has this great relationship with his teacher. You guys can talk all night. And I thought, you better have me, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I, I was into it, but not that into it. <laughs> and so I walked in and it turned out that we, the, I knew enough of it, and I knew what I already just told you, that when you can collapse the observer and the observed, that's the point. That we ended up having the most amazing talk about non-dual and Zen and, and quantum physics at this huge table with probably 12 of us. And the spirit was just directing the whole conversation and, and being willing to not be identified with a person that, that thinks it knows something or doesn't know something and just being willing to be used so fully in every encounter. And for me, I had to let go of the idea of what truth is and truth and lies. Truth is, is being done through by Jesus and saying what he, he guides you to say. You know, if, if you wanted to ask if I had some kind of certificate, you didn't have a certificate. But when Jesus says, you're a quantum physics teacher and I'm going to use, I'm going to use this temporary profession that doesn't even mean anything to wake up the world, so to speak, then you better line up with that kind of thinking. That's truth, so to speak, or a reflection of truth. And so I've had a lot of fun with the journey in terms of remembering the quantum field through that way, being done through over and over again, not just focusing on what do I got to let go of, but actually kind of accepting new concepts and context to help expand the mind. And you, you know, facing this, child thing. I don't think you would have made it this far if you hadn't have temporarily accepted miracle worker or even member of a community or head of admin. I mean, maybe you could describe for everybody what it's like being the head of admin <laughs> in living miracles. <laughs> Does it help you stay in the quantum field? <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I'm interviewing you. Now. Yeah, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a little bit like being a, a like a an orchestra conductor in a way, because there's always like a thousand things going on at once, and I feel like the spirit brought that to me because I needed it. Like I needed, I needed a lot of help, like to keep my mind stable and to to keep keep me serving, actually. Because there's either it's, to me it's either I'm either in, in the m mind of service and, and just giving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or if I if I'm not there mm -hmm. I turn in turn inward and it becomes it becomes about um, you know the personal self, mm -hmm. which is about I don't know like feeling like I'm a, a body alone in the world I don't know what's going on you know and it, there's a whole thing tied up in that so it's like. And many, 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 many times I've been like in that dark place and then I, something would come in in my area, my function, that would pull me right out of it, you know, above the battleground, so to speak. And I would just be back up into, into that service and that joy and that, you know, that 
that vibe of, mm -hmm. of, of happy, happiness actually, yeah. like, and not fully understanding how that happened. But it's like, Oh, okay. I'm back again. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. And, yeah. and so that, that to me is part of the, the cleaning that needs yeah. to happen in my own mind so that I don't, so I can just gently let go of that personal hold, you know, on mm -hmm. the self, the self concept kind of thing. So. Did you ever dream when you were a child of being the head of admin? Sure. Absolutely not. <laughs> not in a million years. <laughs> and it's, it's something that's so, when it's given, it's so mm -hmm. amazing. Because I remember you get off these phone calls with different government agencies, IRS, or even the Canadian tax revenue, whatever. And in your own personal life, you would be like, oh, I would never want these calls. But you just knew you had to do them. And, and just handling everything that needed to be handled with such integrity and, and clarity. And just healing the beliefs and the authority problem mm -hmm. through yeah. a symbol of living miracles. So this, yeah, this is quantum. That's <laughs> <laughs> what quantum looks like. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's good. So there's just something to me right now about just making quantum practical, like somehow bringing, bringing, it's, it's like a like a coming of age or or some feeling like it's time it's time for quantum to be made more available to 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 people mm -hmm. like it's not people out there but it's just for me mm -hmm. <laughs> like it just somehow is more available to for the healing of the mind like you know like mm -hmm. somehow this like this it's it's like a, it's like something that that could be tapped like an untapped resource in mm -hmm. a way in the on the spiritual path mm -hmm. You know, I'm a Course in Miracles student and I do my lessons and I practice with, you know, the spirit every day, but it feels very different. Like it feels like it's such a different angle mm -hmm. of like, you know, just the way the spirit can work in, in, mm -hmm. in the mind to, to actually just show us how, mm -hmm. you know, how, how wrong we are about so many different things. Like we have no idea. And so, yeah, it's, yeah. So I feel like that, that's also a prayer right now is to, you know, just to, watch watch how this is going to unfold and you know how 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 i could be used in in a way that that might be part of that i'm not sure i'm not really sure but it just feels there's something underneath all of this that feels really good mm, beautiful so. yeah i actually read what is quantum today on the web and they said the quantum refers to the least amount of anything so a quanta of milk would be the least amount of particles of milk to call mm -hmm. it quanta of milk a quanta of light is a, mm -hmm. and i thought that's a beautiful description or almost like how the holy spirit works it wants to give you save you the most amount of time and give you the least amount of effort to wake up from the journey so mm -hmm. it's like let's take a quanta of guidance to wake up to <laughs> the perfect amount mm -hmm. i was hoping that would <laughs> oh, two minutes. You could even post, mm. if you have some kind of a page, you could post more of these clips that you find. Mm. Some, if I have some kind of a page. Some kind of quantum, do we have a quantum page? Right. We do. We do. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, I do feel something about this needs to be shared more. So, yeah, maybe maybe that's it. This is, somehow this could be put out there more for everyone. Okay, well, feels like we're we've come to the end of another another show. We'll see what the spirit has has in mind next. But thank you, everyone, for for being part of this. I'm really grateful, and thank you so much, Jason. Yeah, thank you. For, for all of all of this okay thank you bye